There is only one person, brothers and sisters, that we should trust, and that is God, Jesus Christ himself, the faithful one. Because Jesus Christ is stable. He is God. He never changes. He is the rock. We always change. We are unstable. And therefore, we shouldn't trust in other people. I shouldn't trust in other teachers. You shouldn't trust in other preachers and teachers and any other man. Even if this man claims to be talking from God, you need to go yourself to Jesus to God and get your confirmation from him. You need to spend time with him in prayer and you need to get alone with him so that he tells you the truth, so that he guides you himself and not other people. Don't trust any other person. There is only one person who is your teacher and that is the Holy Spirit. There is only one person you should follow and that is Jesus Christ, not other men. A lot of people think that they can listen to preachers and teachers and they trust other people with their own salvation. But the only person that can tell you where you truly stand is Jesus Christ and God himself, no other person. When I say that we shouldn't trust other people, I don't mean that we should think evil, that people are looking to hurt us, our salvation. And our peace should not depend on any other person, on any preacher or teacher. Our peace should depend on Jesus Christ himself, on the Lord who is in full control. When I wake up in the morning, sometimes I am not in a good mood. I don't even feel like praying. And because of this instability of my feelings and my emotions, I don't even trust my own self. So how am I supposed to put my faith and trust in other people as if they know my best? So nobody can help us except Jesus Christ himself. When it comes to our salvation, when it comes to our faith, when it comes to how we are walking with him, if we are pleasing to him, Jesus Christ has the answer. Jesus Christ is the one who can tell us where we stand in his sight. So we need to make sure that we are walking with him right we might think sometimes we're doing things the right way. We might think that we are preaching right, that we are teaching right, that he's pleased with us. But he knows where we stand in front of him. And we need always to go back to him in humility and get our confirmation that he is still pleased with us. We need to walk with Jesus closely. And we need to make sure that this walk is genuine and serious so that when we get to the end, we are ready. We need to be watchful. And this is a hard time for the church. It is a hard time for the whole world. It is time to get close to Jesus, to pray to him, to spend time with him, and make sure that you and your loved ones, the people around you, your family, your kids, are close to God, are close to Jesus Christ, the only way to heaven. You cannot save yourself. There is no other way to be saved except through Jesus Christ. The only sacrifice provided by God so that he reconciles us to himself. He is looking to save, to restore, but we need to go to him. We need to do our part. And if we go to him, he will save us. He will keep us and he will help us overcome by the power of the Holy Spirit. Stay with him. Get close to Jesus. Trust him. Do not trust other people. Do not trust even yourself. Lean only on God and do not trust your own understanding. It is only God who knows the truth and every man is a liar. And may God bless you.